Everything in the Rose is Red. It's Becky. So, as you can see, it's hoodie weather. And I'm wearing a hoodie in the middle of the day. Because, yeah, I'm pretty chilly right now. Even though I'm chilly, I am working on sprucing up the house. And today we're working on that famous little side table. And truthfully... I've done a couple of little things and put lanterns together, used the little truck. I made a flower arrangement again early in the fall. Actually, I think it was still mostly summer. But I made another arrangement since then. And I think I want to use that one instead because I just love it. So I'm going to let you help me decide. So here is the little side table. And if you remember this arrangement that I put together for, I believe it was the lantern challenge. I'll go ahead and insert that video if you're interested in seeing how I put that together. As you can see, those leaves that were used as well are still there. I actually have stuff in front of me y'all look at there's even a sock oh my gosh that's hilarious so <laughs> enough of socks I guess so I'm interested in putting something together here and I really can't decide I really like this arrangement but I think I want to use it somewhere else and I put together another one and I think I like it better so here she is, she's like super crazy and big. One of my favorite purple vases. Um, I was, I inherited it from a friend of ours. And here are the pumpkin stems. There's some orange, I believe those are sunflowers. I don't know if they're Gerber daisies or I honestly, I don't, <laughs> I'm not really good with flower names. I love these purple roses. I've had them for forever honestly and I just put a whole bunch of flowers together and kind of moved them around and I just really loved just this organic feel that they have there's some feathers in there as well as some like wheat type of things again I'm not sure what anything's called I'm just kind of making it up as I go but you know what it's supposed to be fun and if you love it then that is the most important part I really think I want to use this one on this table I'm not sure what I'm gonna do other than that let's see what else we can find so I went ahead and took those leaves off of the table I think it'll just show up a lot better and I just moved it back so that you could see all of those beautiful little textures coming out of there but again, I cannot decide what else to put there. So I found some more ceramic pumpkins. If you're not surprised, um, I'm a little surprised that you're not surprised. <laughs> and I found some little signs. These all came from Dollar Tree, guys. So super inexpensive. I absolutely adore these little signs. I'm super excited about all of them. I think I want to use all of them, but not all in the same place. So there's that. I'm thinking the pumpkins definitely need to stay. And I love the bless the family beside us and the love between us. Hmm. So many possibilities. Let's try a couple and see how we do. So there's the first idea. I'm really starting to think that those leaves made a huge difference in those colors just popping right off of that table. So I'm gonna try them with the leaves and see how we do. I think I like that even better now.
hope you're all having a very blessed day wherever you are. And I'll see you soon. Bye.